this is probably only the second video I've ever done from London. I'm not in central London, I'm in Brompton near Fulham Broadway. So I'm attending a, a conference uh, nearby. But as I've got a little bit of time to kill, I wanted to come here, I saw it, and I know it's a fascinating place, Brompton Cemetery. Absolutely fantastic, Brompton Cemetery. Let's go have a look around. mausoleum of John Mallet and the family tomb of Benjamin Golding. Lovely old door there. That's amazing. It does remind you a little bit of Highgate Cemetery, which I've never been to unfortunately. Oh, yeah. John Snow, not the one from Game of Thrones, but uh, the physician uh, John Snow. This is a royal park, 39 acres and built in 1840. Now here's the grave the Celtic Cross of Emily Pankhurst, the leader of the suffragette movement, who was killed jumping in front of the King's horse really made her point there. Incredible. What a brave woman she was and just changed and reformed everything for everybody. Such a shame it has to take that sort of act of violence on her part and death for anything really to happen and move forward. So you've got this fantastic walkway with a cathedral of trees accompanying you, it's fantastic. The family mausoleum of William and Susanna Morgan. Lots of old doors here today. Incredible. Obviously a lot of these are Victorian. Um, well, pretty old are they, Victorian. Stresses for ages, and people just come here. There's a lovely cafe just by the entrance you can come to. Really, is an amazing place, absolutely amazing place. I'm probably not really doing it justice, to be honest. Apparently, according to their website, it's a working cemetery again. I said the last burials, sorry, it wasn't 1900, I think it was 1952. I don't know where there was not much room left, there's a little bit of room there. But yeah, it's an amazing. Isn't this magnificent? Another mausoleum. Isn't that incredible? Looks like you just open the door and walk in. Obviously, you're not going to do that. It's locked. But isn't that incredible? And the two weeping angels. Very plain mausoleum here. This is Duncan Wilson. Duncan Wilson. I bet you should do Highgate Cemetery at some point. 205,000 people are buried here. 205,000. There are catacombs as well, which could have buried thousands, but actually only turned out that 500 people decided to be buried down there. So that's just down there. We'll have a look in a minute. Awesome. Aha, uh -huh, more mausoleums. Harvey Lewis. Aren't they magnificent? Today is Friday. The 6th of October and it's really warm. We've got Saturday and Sunday going to be 25 degrees Celsius. 
in October. Fantastic. And I'll be at the conference all weekend. But um, yeah, I love, I love warm weather. So I'm, not, I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. I'm sure there's guides to all these mausoleums and who they belong to. Um, look at that. It's like being on the death zone in Gallifrey in the Five Doctors reference. That's beautiful. It's like made out of marble. Incredible. The workmanship into these things. Yeah, and there's the uh, door. Obviously locked. A little bit windy today, that's all, a little bit windy. Um, I've got a muff on the mic, on the media mod on the GoPro. It's with the GoPro today. There's a lot of people out uh, in the cemetery just walking around enjoying enjoying the day. I say this is a royal park. This is the military plot right next door to West Brompton uh, tube station which just coming on from Wimbledon Amazing. incredible place before the conference I have got lunch booked at the Lily Langtree pub just down the road I'm having food there today and tomorrow when I'm doing the conference I'm not speaking at the conference, I'm attending the conference. Conference on Consciousness seems to be in the appropriate place today for that. Another great mausoleum to Fletcher, the Fletcher family. Great. Lots of Celtic crosses here I see. head down towards the chapel and the catacombs. More mausoleums, these are fantastic. Sorry the sun keeps blurting in the face. Mausoleums, they're great. Oh, they must be underneath. The floor. It's actually nice. You can actually look in, as you can see. Oh, nice little walkway you can walk through. Sorry about the planes as well. We're on the. Uh, Heathrow flight path. Heathrow's not that far away. It's amazing. And these are the entrance to the catacombs. Obviously locked. What else? Here's some coffins in there. I'm probably not going to put any music on this. I just want to, you to enjoy the ambience as I am, even with the planes. What a cemetery. Just coming up on the chapel. Have a look at the chapel. Amazing building. I think built in 1836. Um, and there's the back wall of the cemetery. 205,000 people. 
I'll be honest, I didn't know much about uh, the cemetery before coming here. Of course, I was looking for where the conference was. Um, I've heard of it, but I didn't really know much about it, but I didn't know it was this impressive. And lots of wildlife as well. Hello, mate. <laughs> it's unusual squirrel, I thought it was about to attack me. There's squirrels, there's pigeons. Interesting, this section's all overgrown. And it really does look atmospheric, you know? So, yeah, not sure why. They say the cemetery is like a walled garden. These main gates are up there. Um, it's like a little wildlife oasis as well, as I say, in the middle of uh, London. Such a nice day today. An incredible place. I hope you enjoyed this little trip. It was very impromptu. These great little walkways up by the chapel and the uh, Victorian, or the old plaques, 1881, uh, day 1847. All you can hear is the uh, wind swaying in the trees. Oh, there's a church over there. Um, and the planes on their final descent to Heathrow. Fantastic. So I can't believe it's October. I know we're down south, it doesn't get that cold, but 25 degrees tomorrow. Also coming in, obviously I've taken the tube to get here. And I'm a driver, so I very rarely take, the only time I take public transport is if I'm coming into London, which I haven't done, say it's a four years since I've been in London. And I couldn't find the, where, where do I buy a ticket? It's, it's all overground tickets, you know. And the, I went to the chap at Wimbledon Station, he said, and he said, oh, you just tap your, your card, like, like on the tram, which I have to use sometimes. Um, just tap your card and then tap the other end. Simple as that. I thought, okay, that's good. But I felt so foolish. But then again, you know, I don't take public transport that much, so, but now I know. Yeah, you can tell they're now using it as barrels again, yeah, 1993. That's lovely. Family vault of Herbert Fitch. Herbert Fitch. 84, 86, great. I hope you enjoyed that little trip around Brompton uh, Cemetery. Absolutely fascinating, really is fascinating. All these mausoleums, the catacombs, and just everyone just out chilling, using it as a green space. And if you like this video, of course, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. 
We're now going to go to the Lily Lang Tree for lunch before I go and register for the uh, conference. Hope you're all doing really great today and we'll see you later. Take care. <laughs>